Hello everybody, Ultimate Bricks here, and today I'm going to be reviewing this fairly uncommon LEGO City Poly Bag. It's at number 40177 with 40 pieces, recommended for just 6 and up, and I got this at a Legoland Discovery Center for $2.50. Alright, let's get into the package and see what is inside. Just open it up with uh, some scissors. It is in one of these uh, newer style of poly bag, poly bags that they're doing, um, where it's like a lot softer uh, plastic. And then on the inside, there's these just regular bags that you would expect um, from any set. So, uh, the bag is empty, and inside there are two bags of pieces, the instruction manual, a poster, and then the tent plastic piece. Take a look at the poster first. It definitely has a ton of creases in it, if you can see, so it wouldn't really be um, worthy of hanging up or anything, but maybe would look nice if you could put it against a wall or like on the back of a shelf of your um, jungle display. Maybe you could add to that a little bit. Anyways, it's kind of a nice little touch. And then there's nothing printed on the other side. Now let's get into the build itself. There's this little ancient thing, thingamajigger, with a uh, blue diamond right there, which is kind of a nice piece to have. It's one of the more common colors for the diamonds, but. Uh, still pretty neat. Then has this nice piece on top, which is kind of cool. And this doesn't really have too much volume. It's not really much of anything. However, if you have an existing jungle display, it's just another little thing you can put somewhere. Um, then there's this green snake, which I've never seen this snake piece in green before. Uh, this bright green color. That doesn't mean it hasn't been made before, but this is definitely the first one that I have and I don't know about um, anyone else. Anyways, then there's a little hot dog on a little uh, um, like kerosene cooking stove thing, and then there's a pan that you can put the hot dog on and kind of like cook up the hot dog. Anyways, the minifigure has a little stick which he can use to like pick up the snake and kind of like get rid of the snake so that then he can take the diamond. So that's that, we'll take a look at the figure in a bit and let's take a look at the tent now it's secured using ball joints on both sides and then either side here is open up opened up and if I just take this off right now you can see on the inside there's a little bed so you can make your uh, minifigure lie down right there and then when you uh, put it back together like this you can kind of fold it up like that and it actually looks kind of nice when it's like this However, one of the problems is it does open up, so it looks like this when it's not opened up, which isn't a bad look, but it's just kind of how it looks. It's pretty difficult to get it like this. You'd have to, you know, find a way to secure it. Anyways, let's take a look at that minifigure. The single minifigure included is kind of a common jungle figure, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. You can see there's um, nice printing on the torso, no printing on the legs and just the uh, standard uh, Jang Bricks face. And removing the head and backpack, you can see the printing on the back of the torso, as well as the fact that there is no secondary face. All right, so overall, I think this is a pretty neat set. Please tell me what you think of this set in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.